Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and this is day 13 of the January Creative Prompts. If you haven't been following along, you can catch up. Do check just below, click on Show More, and you can see a link to the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. We have been posting these as weeks at a time. And of course, if you follow along and you want to share, we'd love for you to take a photo of your take on the prompt and share it in the Facebook event in the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Robin Finnessy and I are kind of collaborating, if you will. We had several members ask for creative prompts to help them create items for their journal and to write in their journals. So Robin wrote up a bunch of prompts and then I'm executing those prompts daily for us here in January. Worry. Also below when you check out those links, check out my other group by Linda Israel as well as my fan page on Facebook, my Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. I do share things on Pinterest as well so follow me there and where else? Instagram I said and Patreon I believe. Alright, so today for January the 13th we are to create a journal page about the last time you traveled construct the page to be about all about that trip then write about something you will never forget about that trip so my journal page it's kind of funny because you you probably don't know this but it is the directory page for a map so it tells you pretty much where the city is what page it was on and what grid to find it so that you can travel so it's kind of funny that's going to be underneath my page here. I've got a junior legal notepad paper. You can do notebook paper, junior legal, maybe you've just got a scrap of paper that has enough space that you can write upon. That's what we're going to start with. Move my journal out of the way. So I've got this page. It's blank to begin with. I think what I want to do, I'm going to contemplate this. I'm going to go ahead and rubber stamp around the edges. I've got the fern leaves there's three different sizes I got small medium and large and I've got different colors of tattered angel or not tattered of uh, distress oxide and distress inks that I'm going to use all over the page so I'm going to start with the large leaf and I'm just going to ink this all the way up and I'm going to stamp it kind of randomly around the page like so and then I'm just going to do that with the other stamps as well I think that looks pretty good. I'm going to use some distress inks around the edges of this page. I've got some salty ocean in a blending tool, and I thought I would kind of go in here and add a little bit of blue to this page to kind of make it look like that we're looking through some ferns at the, up at the sky or into our journaling area. And these are brushes that I found on Amazon. I got a bunch of them for really low price. So I have a link in the description box if you're interested in those. So there's the decorated portion. I think I want to add a couple more things, so let me dig around and get those. I've got a little sentiment that says expect great things. I think I'm going to use that on the page. I'm going to go ahead and glue this down to my other page. When I do glue this, I want to be careful because it could bleed through to the next page. So I'm just going to put another piece of paper under here to help catch any loose glue. I'm using Aline's Tacky Glue. I find that by swapping out the cap, sometimes you can buy them with this smaller nozzle, but I swapped it out with the, what was it, the gel? It was the Easy Squeeze Clear Tacky Glue that this cap was on. And if you just use a very small amount, not a lot, you hardly touch it to the page, and put a little bit of glue down, it keeps your paper from wrinkling. And I just refill my bottle. Whenever it gets low, I buy a bigger bottle and then just put it into this one and it makes it so much easier to handle. So that may look like a lot of glue, but there's very little there. And then I've got my bone folder and I'm just gonna press to smooth it out. And it helps move that glue just a little bit out to the edge. And then I'm just going to make sure that on the back side, if there's any glue, just kind of touching over it for a moment. I'm going to dry that and I'll be right back. 
That's what I like about Aline's Tacky Glue. It dries clear and it dries relatively quick. All right, so there is my page so far. And I think I'm going to put Expect Great Things down here in the corner. My last vacation that we had or travel that we had was a cruise and we went to a beautiful, sunny, tropical place. And I'm going to write about that and come back and tell you all about it. Okay, so here's what I wrote about. We went on a cruise last September. We went to Progresso and Cozumel. And here's what I wrote. Uh, center page around last time you traveled and write about the trip. Our last travel was on a cruise to Progresso and Cozumel. It was our first time to Progresso. So we did an excursion to a hacienda. It was so beautiful seeing the property and the Mayan ruins as well as the cenotos, the water caves filled with fresh water. I highly recommend uh, recommended trip. Um, it was beautiful. It was amazing to be able to see basically what an old hacienda, an old ranch, if you will, and seeing the Mayan ruins. My husband, Henry, climbed up them and then going to the cenotos. I may not be saying that right because I'm not from there and I'm, you know, a silly hick from Oklahoma. <laughs> but basically, it's a freshwater cave that we got to swim through. And it was absolutely just so serene and peaceful and beautiful. And I highly recommend it if you ever go to Progresso to check it out. So thanks so much for watching today. I hope you're inspired to journal as well as create a junk journal to write about those things that are going on in your life. Again, if you are participating, definitely check out the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group event and share your take on each one of the prompts. Come back tomorrow to see day 14. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. Have a fabulous day. Bye.